I want to talk about two super common mistakes with percent composition so that you won't make them. Here's an example of the first mistake. I'm solving for the percent composition by mass of sodium in N2S2O3 and I'm intentionally making a mistake here. So here's my formula for percent composition by mass. I want to get a number for the top of the fraction and a bottom of the fraction. Here's my calculation for the molar mass of the compound where I'm adding up the molar masses of the different elements that make it up. And then up here I have the molar mass of sodium. I put this on the bottom of the fraction, I put this on the top of the fraction, I divide and I multiply by 100%. Can you spot the mistake here? Well, it's not down here with the molar mass. I'm doing these calculations completely correctly. The problem is up here, specifically with this number. Okay? This number, 22.99, it is the molar mass of sodium, but it's not the total molar mass of sodium in this compound. Okay? This number here is the molar mass of one sodium. But as you can see from the chemical formula here, there are two sodiums in this compound. Okay? So to get the total molar mass of the sodium, we have to take this number and multiply it by two. Okay? So this is the correct way to do the calculation, taking into account the two sodiums that are in the formula and multiplying this number by two. This is not the right way to do it, where you just take the number of, from sodium right off the periodic table. Okay? You have to account for the total molar mass of sodium. And that also means that this number here, 22.99, should be replaced by 45.98. Okay, now the second common mistake has to do with this calculation right here. Here's the math you'll do as part of the final step of the problem. When you divide this by this, you get this. Now, the mistake that a lot of people make is they leave this as their final answer. But this is not the final answer because you still have to multiply by 100%. Multiplying this number by 100% is going to do two things. First, it's going to move the decimal place over two spots to the right, so we're going to get 29.08. And just as importantly, it's going to turn this number into a percentage. So we're going to put that percentage sign after it. This is what the final answer should look like. This multiplied by 100%. So those are the two most common mistakes with percent composition by mass problems, and now you won't make either one of them.